this is going to be a video on how to turn on fast wireless charging on your Samsung device. Let's go over to the wagon wheel at the top where you're going to press settings. You're going to scroll all the way down until you find battery and device care. You're going to click on battery. And we have wireless power sharing, which you don't want to do. You scroll down a little further, more battery settings, fast wireless charging, super fast charging, fast charging, show charging information, show battery percentage, and so you get the idea. You need to go down to the settings and the battery and turn these things on. If you don't do that, you will not be able to do fast wireless charging. Please do a thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. Affiliate links in the video description, along with a PayPal donation link. Thank you for watching. So if you're doing this on a Samsung, you want to go to the settings. You want to scroll down to battery and device care. You want to click on battery. You want to go down to the bottom, more battery settings. Make sure that these are on fast wireless charging. If it's not on, it's not going to charge. Now. Let's test this thing out. We've got it connected to the USB-C. Your uh, cell phone may vary depending on where the wireless charger is set. We are wirelessly charging right now. We just got that going to 25%. Fast wireless charging, two hours, 11 minutes. If I plug in the 45 watt anchor power brick directly to the phone, it's 58 minutes. If I plug in the Samsung 2 amp power brick that comes with it, it's about maybe uh, an hour, two hours, an hour and a half, two hours, something like that. Why did I buy this thing? I bought it strictly for the wireless. I bought it for two reasons. I wanted a power brick. I wanted a, a power bank and this will allow me to have a power bank. Had a power failure here two weeks ago. Power's off for nine hours. All of my power uh, banks were not charged up for at least a year. Luckily, I had some power. I was able to get the phone working. Um, this thing, I will pay more attention to keeping it charged up. The other reason that I have this is at nighttime, I just don't like having to go to the bottom of this thing and pull out my uh, get out the cables and plug everything in and if you deal with electronics even though these things are made properly over time one of the things that goes on on most cell phones is the USB port just from plugging it in and out all the time in and out and in and out and in and out so uh, we got this thing charging right now the thing I don't like is that when you when you put this thing on here if you bump it you're never gonna know that you're not charging unless you look so, I think it's worth it. I would definitely consider buying uh, the 10,000. If you don't care about the wireless charging, then I would go with the 20,000 milliamp. It's not that much more money. I did a video review of that too on my channel. Check it out. Thanks for watching.